Hi hey guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter one, lesson eight. Let's go ahead and get started. So number one is done for you, and these are the kind of charts that it wants you to, to draw, okay? So I went ahead down here, and it says, which lake has a surface area that is 100, sorry, 14,938 square miles greater than the surface area of Lake Ontario, okay? So here is the number that it wants us to add to it and Lake Ontario is 7,340. You can see that right here, okay? So all we're doing is adding those two numbers and seeing which one matches, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Eight plus zero is eight. Three plus four is seven. Nine plus three is 12. I'm gonna carry the one. One plus four is five. Plus seven is 12. Carry the one. One plus one is two. So we have 22,278. Well, you can see that that is Lake Michigan. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the next one. It says Lake Victoria has the largest surface area of all lakes in Africa. Its surface area is 26,828 square miles. How much larger is the surface area of Lake Superior than Lake Victoria? So we're going to take Lake Superior, because it says that that one is larger. How much larger is the surface area of Lake Superior? Lake Superior, up at the top here, is 31,000. Oops, sorry, 700. So let me fix my boo-boo. Okay. And we're going to subtract the 26, 8, 28. Okay. So your chart would look like that. This, there's Lake Superior. Here is Lake Victoria, and it wants to know this guy. Okay, so we're gonna do the math. Zeros can't take anything, so we're gonna go all the way over to the seven, make it a six. That makes this zero a 10, but now I need to borrow one from that 10, so it's a nine. And now I have 10 minus eight is two. Nine minus two is seven. Six can't take away eight, so I'm gonna make that a zero and that is 16. 16 minus eight is eight. Zero can't take away a six, so I'm gonna borrow that. 10 minus six is four. So 4,872 square miles, okay? All right, so I'm gonna help you guys set up your, your grid for the next one, but then you guys are gonna do it. It says, at 840,000 square miles, Greenland is the largest island in the world. The second largest island is New Guinea at 306,000 square miles. How much larger is Greenland than New Guinea? So we have Greenland, okay? Then we have New Guinea, okay? Greenland is 840,000. New Guinea is 306,000. And then it wants that number. So it wants the difference in these two numbers. Difference means subtraction, okay? So go ahead and do that. We're gonna go over onto the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. We're gonna go down and do the spiral review. It says, to write a number that is greater than 832,458, but less than 832,500. You see that our 832s are the same? Those two numbers are the same. They don't have to change, okay? But I need a number, and I'm not gonna find one between four and five, and it's gotta be below a five because the next numbers are zero. So that means that my next number has to be a four, okay? But now I need a number that is between 58 and basically 99 because zero, zero means 100, okay? So you could have 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, all the way up to 99, okay? I'm gonna write 99, you do not have to. You can pick any number that is between 58 and 99 there. Oh, sorry, 59, you gotta choose one that's bigger than 58. Okay, so 59 and 99, that's a lot of numbers to choose from, guys, okay? All right, a stadium in Pennsylvania seats 107,282 people. A stadium in Arizona seats 71,706 people. Based on these facts, how many more people, okay? How many more, we're finding the difference, that means subtraction, okay? 
So how many more? So we're gonna do 107. I'm gonna just do it up here. 282, and I'm going to subtract the 71, 706, okay? So two cannot take away six. I'm gonna borrow one, making this a 12. 12 minus six is six. Seven minus zero is seven. Two cannot take away seven. So I'm going to go next door and make that a six. And then I have 12. 12 minus seven is five. Six minus one is five. And then zero can't take away seven, but since it's a one and I would just borrow it to make a 10, I'm gonna say 10 minus seven is three. So 35,576 people. Sorry, I was trying to figure out if they had written fans or people. Okay, so we're gonna go down to number five. Number five says, what is 399,713 rounded to the underlined digit? So, okay, so I have to know if this nine needs to bump this up or if it needs to stay the same. If, it is a, if the number next to it is a zero, one, two, three, or four, then the nine will stay the same. If it is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, it will go up and that's a seven, which means that my nine has to go up, but I can't just write a 10 there. Well, then I'm gonna carry one over here, but I can't just write a 10 there. So now I've gotta carry one over to here, which means it's gonna to go to 400,000. Okay, that only happens when you have nines here. Makes it a little extra confusing. Okay, all right. About 400,000 people visit an art museum in December. What could be the exact number of people who visited the art museum? So I need any number that rounds to 400,000. So it could be 399,999. It could be 400,000 and one. It could be any number that would round to 400,000, okay? So you choose any number that would round to 400,000, okay? It can be one of these, it can be a different one you choose, okay? All right, all right guys, thanks for hanging out for chapter one. Come on back for chapter two, see you soon.